We are going back now to the breaking news you saw first here on Fox 4 News at 9. The Dallas Zoo's giraffe, the famous giraffe calf, Capenzi, died suddenly tonight. And so joining us on the phone is Harrison Adele. He's with the Dallas Zoo and helped narrate the birth for people watching online when it was live streaming. He is also the zoo's director of living collections. Uh, Mr. Adele, first, I, I know you are connected to this, this young giraffe, so just give me your immediate reaction to what happened this evening. Yeah, well, we have a, an outstanding team of animal care staff here at the zoo, and all of us are understandably devastated at the loss of this youngster. Uh, she was a really unique, very special animal, um, and working with her day in and day out uh, it makes it a really, really difficult loss. Well, I think a lot of people had such a strong connection to Capenzi, helped naming her, but then also seeing her birth live, people around the, the world watch, so it's heart, heartbreaking for so many people. Can you explain to us what happened? The, the herd was moving back in for the, the night. What happened? Well, our drafts shift from the main exhibit into the draft yard, I'm sorry, the barn every single evening. Uh, today was a very routine day up until about 5.30 or so, and Capenzi and Capano, her older brother, were out in the, the smallest of our yards uh, horsing around, as youngsters do. The adults shifted into the barn. The youngsters were still out in the yard, and at some point, uh, Capenzi hit some object in the exhibit and was injured badly enough that we lost her this afternoon. Um, Again, a very routine day, but uh, really unique circumstances. We're actually watching some video. I think it was the first time kind of had her out, and she's, she's running around. Is that It was just a, kind of a frisky time for her running around, and she might have just not seen a wall or something, as simple as that? That is exactly the situation. Uh, youngsters do enjoy playing, regardless of the species, and these two were being youngsters and, and playing. Um, this is the same yard that she's been in, every day since May 1st, so there was nothing in the exhibit space that she had not encountered before. So I'm not sure exactly how this happened, but uh, you know, we're gonna do our best to understand exactly what went on this afternoon and make sure that we can continue to keep our animals as safe as possible in the future. Well, and Harrison, what was the reaction to from, from the other animals, that the other giraffes that were there when this happened? Well, the most important thing for us was that we wanted to make sure that Katie, uh, Capenzi's mom, had some time to spend with her before we removed Capenzi from the exhibit. So we, we definitely made time for that. Um, we're gonna be monitoring the whole giraffe herd for, for behavior and appetites and attitude over the next few weeks to make sure that they're working through it and, and surviving and, and coping with all of this. And, and I, want, I don't wanna put human attributes to animals, but sometimes they do. I mean, is there a possibility of depression? And as you mentioned, stopping eating and becoming sick themselves, what, what might you expect? Well, that's exactly what we would expect. We want to make sure that, that none of the animals are experiencing, uh, you know, undue stress that affects their health. Uh, we expect that animals, of course, are going to have to adjust to a new dynamic in the herd, and they obviously rec will recognize that one of the herd members is missing. Uh, we just need to make sure that we can keep them as, as comfortable and safe as possible and, and provide the support that we can. So what is this? Will the, the, this part of the zoo be closed off to visitors who come tomorrow, or, or what can zoo visitors expect? And, and can they do anything to show their support? Well, we don't have any plans to close any of the exhibits at the zoo. Uh, we would, of course, welcome any positive sentiment that, that guests can share with our keepers. Uh, and in addition, we would welcome any donations to the Draft Conservation Fund, our partner out in the field in Africa that does amazing work supporting wild giraffes. Well, I know people have already been posting lots of pictures on, on Facebook and Twitter and sharing their thoughts there, so that's another way, too, to, to, to show that, that people who have experienced Kempinzi and, and seen her, her birth on TV and, and now experiencing this loss with the, the family there at the zoo. Hey, Mr. Adele, we want to send you our condolences and just tell everybody what we believe our viewers are feeling. They're really sad. They really did have an attachment to her, and gosh, everybody's really sorry. We're sorry for your loss out there. Thank you. I really appreciate that. And thanks for coming on and talking about it. We appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Have a good night. You too. And of course, we'll continue to follow this tonight on Fox 4 News at 10 and tomorrow morning on Good Day.